Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Turquoise Bauble Worm. This is one of the new pets added in patch 9.1 that you can purchase in Ouroboros from Keeper Talhut, one of the brokers in the Hall of Curiosities. He is just the general pet vendor of the area. Now, he will offer you the pet in return for free grey trash items. They are a rabbit's foot, a large slimy bone, and a frayed knot. If you're unfamiliar with these items, which I wouldn't blame you if you weren't, you can always open up the auction house and you can just go ahead and buy these grey items and buy the pet, but because they now have an attached value to them, these items are quite pricey. As you can see there, a rabbit's foot is 5,000 gold, so it's really up to you. Now, if you want to go ahead and farm these yourself, the best thing to do to obtain a rabbit's foot is quite honestly, roll a new character. Now, there is a reason for this, because... This item, if you go here on a max level character, doesn't drop because of the scaling loot tables. Don't really understand it myself, but so all I did, make a level 1 character, go ahead, kill some Blackrock Wargs in Elwyn Forest, first one I kill drops a rabbit's foot. Now all I can do is mail that to myself. If you're the Horde, I would make a Tauren, run out of your starting area and just kill the first wolf that you see, and again, the first one I killed dropped another rabbit's foot. Super easy to obtain and farm these, mail them over to your main, and that is the first item done. Next up, we're going to be looking for a large slimy bone giggity, and you want to head to the Wailing Caverns in Kalimdor. This is one of the very old dungeons in the Barrens, if you're unfamiliar. And you don't actually have to go inside the dungeon, but all you want to do is kind of run into the cave as if you're on your way to the dungeon. First slime I see, I smack it, and it drops me a bone immediately. Again, very, you know, easy drop rates for these two items. And that's that. Now, next up, you're going to need a rogue character. Now, I didn't have a rogue character on my account because I deleted all of them. So, what I ended up doing was just making a rogue class trial. And this does actually work because you have to be like a level 24 plus to have pickpocketing. The best place to go is early zones like Elwyn Forest or Tirisful Glades and just pickpocket the really low level humanoid bandits or like Scarlet guys that are around the area. And you should quite quickly get a frayed knot. Mail it from the class trial over to your main, and then once you have all three of those items, you will be able to purchase the turquoise bobble worm. So that is, well for me at least, that is two of the three pets done. I will be doing one more video for the final one, the ruby one. That's all for this video. Be sure to subscribe for some more guides and videos, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.